I'm Alana Alicia here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I do a really simple sleek ponytail. This is what my hair looks like before. It's best to do this style on clean hair, so I'm starting off by saturating my hair with water. I like to nearly tingle my hair with water before I go in and add any shampoo. Look at this shrink, it's natural hair is amazing. I'm just continuing to saturate my hair with water so that I can remove all tangles and knots and any excess product buildup. I'll be shampooing my hair with the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. This shampoo is a blend of certified organic botanical ingredients including peppermint and tea tree oil that work together to clarify your scalp and air. Here I'm just going to get with the shampoo comb and my fingers to really get rid of any excess buildup that I have had on my hair and scalp. I'll be conditioning my hair with the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. This conditioner has ingredients such as eucalyptus, thyme, chamomile, sage, and hard cell that are really great for adding moisture to a dry scalp. I like to detangle my hair with a brush and with my fingers to make sure that I get out any excess tangles because I do have type 4 hair and it tangles very easily. With the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oyster and Nero Store Leave Conditioner, it has Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. It's really good for alleviating dry scalp, aiding in hair growth, and also detangling. The first step for this ponytail is to just section off your hair and start parting your hair. Figure out which part you want. For me, I prefer a side part because I do have a funny shaped head. Then divide the rest of your hair into smaller sections. These sections will help you to put your hair in a ponytail more easily because you'll be able to detangle each section separately as well as add each section to your ponytail separately. Starting with this first section in the back, I'm going to take it out of my little section and go in with the Eco Styler Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Flag Tea Oil Gel. The gel will basically be what holds this style together. I'm going to saturate each section of my hair with gel starting from root to tip, basically smoothing each section down with the gel starting at the root near my scalp and then working that down to the ends of my hair. I'm going to go in with my detangling brush to detangle that section and also smooth it down some more. Using a harder brush, I'm going to go into that section and really start working from my roots going down to smooth my hair as close to my scalp as possible. Tie that section into a ponytail to start the base of my ponytail style. I'm going to unravel the next section of my hair from that section, add a bunch of eco style gel smoothies starting from my roots going down to the edge of my hair, brushing that gel through to really get my hair tangled and slick. Then I'm going in with my smoothing brush to really smooth my hair down and smooth it onto that other section of my hair. I take out my hair from that bottom section of the ponytail and then put both sections in one scrunchie together. Moving on to my next section, unraveling it, adding a bunch of gel starting from 
my roots to the ends of my hair. And we're gonna go in and tangle with both my fingers and my detangling brush. I'm gonna brush that down with my detangling brush as well. And then follow up with my smoothing brush to get that section as close to my scalp as possible. The middle section of my hair is the most matted and tangled no matter what I do. So I make sure to go in this section with a few extra passes of my brush. Next, I take out all of the sections in the back from that ponytail. I add some more gel and I smooth the entire section down with my smoothing brush. Then I put that entire section in one big ponytail. Basically what you do is that as you go through each section, you separate it from the other section, you add some gel, smooth it down, take out the other sections from the ponytail, then you combine all sections into one ponytail as you go throughout your head. Moving on to the front section, out of some gel, breaking it through, going in with my brush to slip that back. And so since this is the front, I'm gonna sort of loop this section around towards the back of my head so that it can be added to my ponytail back there. And then I'm gonna go in with my smoothing brush, smooth that down. So as you can see, I'm taking my hair out of that section so I can add this new section in. Then I'm gonna put everything back together in one single ponytail. Next, moving on to the other side of my head, basically the same steps, adding a lot of gel, detangling with my fingers and brush. I'm gonna slip this towards the back and then go in with my smoothing brush and slip that back down some more. I take all of my hair out of the ponytail so that I can add the new section in and then I put everything back in the ponytail together. Next, I detangle that ponytail a bit more. I go in and add some gel and I also detangle it a bit more with my fingers. Because we want this to be sleek, I'm adding a bit more gel to my hair. I also section out some cute little side curls. Now I'm smoothing all of my hair into one ponytail. I go in a lot over and over and make a bunch of passes so I can get this ponytail as close to my scalp and as sleek as possible. Jingling my little curls. I don't know how to do my edges, so I'm just basically slicking the front of my hair back with some gel. This is how it's looking as of now, but we're not done yet. To get this ponytail sleek, we're going to go in with a scarf and wrap it extremely tight so that this ponytail can get super slick and as close to your scalp as possible. Leave the scarf on for as little or as long as you like. A few years ago, I couldn't even fit my hair in a ponytail, and I feel like my natural hair has come so far. Just undo the scarf when you're ready. And these are the final results. A nice sleek ponytail. My hair is a bit of high porosity, low porosity, I really don't know, but it takes a bit of a time to dry. So my ponytail is still wet, but the rest of my hair is quite sleek and slick. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.